Maybe hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you want to bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. Hey friends, I want to give a shout out to longtime uh, channel supporter and member uh, RavenArmsCompany.com. Uh, they sponsored this video and it is free, so you should head over to their website and give them a thanks. If you're a gun nut, check them out. I'm getting ready to make another uh, load here to the new uh, headquarters and uh, I bought this trailer used. I had a shop spoon some tires on there and when I was just checking it over before my last uh, trip here, I noticed that I felt like there was some uh, excessive wheel bearing play. And so I want to show you good and bad because that's what we got going on here. And if you grab the tire, and I have it jacked up, it's supported underneath with the jack by the way, and there's there's no play. When I say there's no play, there's, there's the tiniest little bit and we want that. If you have it locked up, that can create a bunch of extra heat in the bearing and I'm a bigger fan of, let's use Harley for example, on a tapered style wheel bearing where they give a spec where you put a dial indicator on here and you move it back and forth and it'll say like uh, two to six thousandths of an inch or something. And I've seen some trailers specify, actually I only saw one trailer specify one to five thousandths of an inch and everybody else does it just like I'm going to show you where they'll take the bearing buddy out, take the castle nut off, you know, thread the castle nut in till it doesn't rotate on its own anymore move it one notch where the next cotter key can go in and they call it a day so I know uh, you know millions of people have been doing that successfully it's just I do like having a measurement and I wish that's what they did but uh, another thing that you need to think about too once I get it off I'll kind of point some of this out is that if you're doing new wheel bearings uh, it's not a terrible idea even on on used ones is they'll say torque the castle nut to like 15 foot-pounds to set everything and And then back it off one turn till it rotates nicely But what I'm gonna hope you can hear in the video is that there's no clunking If you will we just have a nice good free wheel bearing and both the bearings on the bearing buddies are full of Full of grease, so that's that's not an issue there they're good there. Actually, you can see how much is squeezing out. So let me flip the trailer around and uh, get to the bad one, and then I'll go ahead and adjust it. And hopefully, I can just adjust it, and it's not a bad wheel wearing. But let's uh, let's flip the trailer around and see what we got. All right, we got the trailer flipped around. We got jacked and uh, resupported with a support jack. And see if you can hear it now. It's pretty loose. Actually, a clunkety clunk. Let me clip this in slow motion. If you watch the edge of that tire there, you actually see that wobble back and forth. It's really hard to show in the normal speed, but look how loose that wheel bearing was. And one thing the video can't show you is feel, so you'll have to try this for yourself on yours. And if you can feel that slop in there, it definitely needs adjusted. So what we're going to do next is take the bearing buddy off. All right, let's go ahead and check out what's going on and see if we can just tighten it up or whether it's going to need to actually be uh, uh, have bearings replaced in there. But if you're kind of new to my channel, I would suggest you subscribe. I come up with lots of good ideas and tips and tricks. And there's going to be a lot of grease in here. And instead of using a brand new roll, it's a good idea to just grab you know gas or oil soaked ones that I keep around just specifically for really getting after this nasty stuff. So we're going to go ahead and take our. Uh, bearing buddy cap and then what I'll do is just kind of scoop this excess right in here. This is actually pretty fresh. Okay. And then what you do is just tap the bearing buddy You saw how I kind of prepared myself to catch it. I'm going to go back in there. Just 
start to get this grease off the castle nut. And then I'm going to be really looking for any debris or anything in here. There's a cotter key. We could definitely use to uh, being tightened up. You'll notice it's a long ways to the next hole, so you really got to have some excessive play there to, to get into that next hole. But it's it's definitely worth a try. So let's go get a new cotter key and tools to get that out. Uh, cotter key removal tool. It's kind of nice if they're stuck in here. And then you can uh, just tap it up. It's an easy way to do it. So like I said, since these are used bearings, I'm going to try to just tighten it up. If it, they were new, you'd have to torque that. that one hole you gotta see yeah money that's what we want Hey, hit up the video description below for a link to this uh, video in this thumbnail that I've got here. It's uh, actually how to measure and play with a dial indicator. If you're putting in new bearings, it's just an absolute must. But on these used bearings, since I can only move the nut, you know, one hole to determine whether it's it's going to uh, feel good or not, I went ahead and uh, uh, used feel. But like I said, if you want to dial it in, you can uh, watch this video to actually check that you're in that specification on the uh, end play. All right, let's check our work. Yeah, I 
feels good. No spots in the bearing, no issues. This is a good time if your tire was used, you could check it out. Uh, Retorque your lug nuts, that's a great idea too. But all right, my friends, there is your tip from HowToWrench.com on how to uh, preload and set the bearings on your trailer and they do need maintenance over time these things uh, do wear it's the whole I one two three all right friends there's your tip from how to on how to uh, service and adjust uh, the bearings on most all of your pull trailers here that have these tapered Timken style bearings but these are something that do wear over time so this is normal to, to get that little bit of play and that's why you either have to have a service shop check them out or you check them out yourself and now you know what tools, there's next to nothing needed to fix it and uh, make them last for a long time. If you do not do this, that bearing will get so much play, it'll get so hot, it'll break apart, and then you're really going to be stranded, you're going to have a problem. Uh, how often have you seen uh, wheels on the side of the road, broken axles, things like that. So if you keep it adjusted correctly and keep it good and lubed up, you'll get lots of life out of that thing and you'll never see that problem. So, all right, my friends, if you haven't done it yet, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for tuning in. All right, make it a great day and keep wrenching.